truth. That you are a slave, Neo. Like everyone else, you were born into bondage, born into a prison that you cannot smell or taste or touch. Hey guys, no, 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 dude, and I wanted to talk about something that's been on my mind recently, uh, especially given current events uh, where I got fired from my job, and it just got me thinking. Over the years, I've always felt like there was something wrong in my life. Ever since I became an adult and left school to join the workforce, I've always hated, I've always despised working and how the current system is laid out and structured. Um, I have always felt like there was something wrong with how life was generally structured, but I never really had the intelligence or the words to describe exactly what I mean. So uh, today, hopefully, I can shed some light on exactly why I think that we as people are modern-day slaves. First, uh, let's talk about the uh, the minimum wage thing. Uh, I haven't really worked in any other like other job that has skills, uh, so I'm not really sure if that also applies over there, but the way I see it, working is structured in a way to make you a worker ant. Make you keep working uh, until the day you will can no longer work, either due to old age or injury, only for you to be essentially replaced for someone who is younger and better than you. It's essentially a system where it's designed to keep you at the same level, the same rank, until the day you die. And as I said, you are replaced. You are essentially a cog in the machine that will get replaced by your children and your children's children until the very day you die. That's just, that's just how it works, that's just how society works. And it really bothers me, because if you're someone like me who doesn't really have any talent, someone who just it's absolutely miserable in most of the jobs I've worked in, you know, I've worked in supermarkets, restaurants, I've worked in construction working, uh, very hard manual labor, and I can't say that I liked any of them, you know, and the thing is, right, no matter how much effort I put in, no matter what I did, I would always get the same wage, so it made me realize that in 10 years, 20, 13, uh, doesn't matter, I will be doing the same thing that I'm doing right now, working all these jobs that mean nothing to me, that just don't fulfill me creatively, they don't fulfill me in my personal life, and they don't give me any sense of purpose. I'm only doing it because that's the only option I have, because if you think about it, the system is also designed to play it, like, the, like life itself is designed to keep you playing, because what's your option? What other options do you have if you don't like how the system is structured? You either die, either by suicide because you're tired of this bullshit or by starvation because you can't pay your bills or you play into it and I just think that it's incredibly fucking wrong that, like, that is genuinely awful making the people on top richer and you in the same level you will always be that's just how it works that's like factual on a factual level that's how the game is supposed to um, to work because if, let's say, you got more money, then if you have more money, then you have more options. And you ha when you have more options, you have more time to do the things that you enjoy. You have more time to not be financially shackled, you know, to your job. So you can take more risks, you can finally do the things that you want to do. And, of course, the government, the people on the top, they don't want you to have those things. Because when you have more options, and when you have your own individuality, then you are no longer, like, you can no longer be controlled. You can no longer continue feeding yourself to this cycle. And that's exactly how they want to keep you. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, like, this is, like, uh, a bad thing for you to hear, but this is exactly how the world is structured. That's how the world works right now. So, let me ask you a question. Do you think you are free? Do you think that your children, your friends, your family, your people, do you think they are free from this? No, no, we, we are not, because at the end of the day, we are just cogs in the machine. Endlessly working away our own life until the day we are no longer needed and then are replaced. That's just how it works. You are essentially playing a different game with the same rules. And the way I see it is, what's the point of playing a game or doing something when you already know the outcome and in my case it's 
continuing to work in a shitty job I dislike for the rest of my life because I am not free. From the moment I was born I have been shackled by my circumstances, by the people around me and most importantly by the systems of our modern day world and there's really no way to get out of this cycle and I feel like someone can just go ahead and tell me that oh this is all conspiracy theory oh, you're just sounding like a fucking you know one of those psychos who just talks nonsense and wears tinfoil hats but if you really think about it that's just the truth that's exactly how society functions that's how society is structured and I feel like also someone can just go ahead and tell me that I'm just blaming everyone else for my problems which some of it is true but at the end of the day the way I see it is as an adult, it's, incre like, it's incre increasingly hard to work on your skills and leverage them in a way that makes you money. Because in my situation, I'm incredibly depressed and motivated, so working on the things that I want and building my skills is incredibly hard. Um, I don't really have much time because of work, uh, so after work I have to make dinner, so that's a few more hours. Uh, which only leaves me with a few hours available to work on my crafts so like automatically that makes it incredibly hard to build the skill and most importantly I am not talented I'm not talented on anything I'm not skilled I'm not intelligent which means that I'm just perpetually stuck in this cycle until the day I die and that just bothers me because I realize you know I have come to realize that I am not a free man I'm not free from this world i am shackled i am bound like from the moment i was born i am shackled and i was bound into this lifestyle that i do not like and it just destroys me emotionally and psychologically so yeah because at the end of the day when you are on your uh, let's say deathbed you're not gonna be remembering all the times that you have spent working and doing extra hours for your boss you're not gonna remember all the times that you have worked on this job you're not gonna remember any of those things you know because they don't matter at the end of the day the thing that you are going to remember is the things that are important to you your family your friends and the things that give you meaning and hope in life you're not gonna remember all the time that you have spent working a nine to five you're not gonna remember any of those things so it, it also bothers me extra that like 90% of our like waking hour is spent toiling away the best years of our life just to have a small little chance that we're gonna able that we're gonna be able to enjoy all the hard work that we did for other people mind you not for yourself and by the time that you are able to enjoy it uh, like let's be honest your mind your body or both of them are no longer functional for you to take full advantage of the money that you have made over the years so yeah uh i guess that's all i want to talk about i mostly got it out of my system and um yeah uh, if you enjoyed the video give it a like subscribe give comments or not uh, i know this channel isn't going anywhere so i don't fucking care anymore and uh yeah goodbye and this has been why you are a modern day slave and why you are not free from this world